here's one of the um, propane generator kits that I've um, tried over the years. This is the nicest one so far, I think. I've had um, three different kinds that I've worked with. This is one from Hutch Mountain. And the thing I like about it is the regulator is mounted on the um, propane tank and not on the generator. Now, just to take a step back, if you don't have a propane power generator and you're in a cold climate, or even if you're not, um, you, you really want one pretty much for backup power. Uh, we only use generators for emergencies. Um, keep our freezer cold. That's really the only crucial need we have because we have heat. We have hot water from wood. Heat and hot water from wood and gravity-fed water and everything. All our other needs are met in root cellar storage. And so we just want to be able to charge some cordless and cell phone batteries, um, maybe run the router and um, charge a couple deep cycle batteries, which backs up the router with a little inverter and um, headlamp batteries, just the crucial needs. Um, if you're relying on gas or diesel, well, gas doesn't store, even with additives, you know, maybe you'll get a year out of it. Um, you can get into cycling gas, it's a pain in the butt, even if you do. You know, there's a good chance a gasoline power generator is not going to start when you need it, um, especially in a cold climate. Propane doesn't care about cold. You can, as long as you don't let the tanks rust, you're going to have good propane in 10 years, in 20 years, and the machine's going to start when you need it. And that's worth a lot. That's kind of why you have a generator is you want it to run. Um, and propane just stores really well. Gasoline does not. Diesel can for a while, but presents a lot of cold weather issues. Um, and it, you don't get a small, you can't really get a small diesel generator. Um, you want a really little generator for most uses. Um, a lot of people are just getting, generators are way too big. Um, we had a, a power outage for a week a little while ago. And I have a 7,800 watt generator. I can run my wall pump and just power the whole farm, the whole homestead. But um, if you have to run that, you're using tons of power. You're using even, you know, most of the time you just need to charge some batteries, maybe turn on your freezer. Well, a EU2000 Honda can, turn, can run a compressor for the surge load on a deep freezer, and then it can easily run more than one freezer uh, while it's running. You know, if you flip on breakers over, you know, uh, intermittently, you know, start one, get the generator going with no load, with the power off, then start one deep freezer or fridge then start the other um you could probably get about well many uh, deep freezers going because the running load of a, of a deep freezer is not very much it's just the surge load this can do 2000 um for very brief periods and 15 to 1800 continuous um so this is like biking down a flat highway in terms of efficiency versus uh, eight cylinder or diesel truck carrying nothing in the back of, of it driving down the same highway. So it's nice to have a big generator here and there, depending on your needs, um, briefly like run your well pump or something, but you do not want to run it very long or you're ripping through pro propane tanks. Now all my generators can back up off on propane, uh, or take gas, uh, but you're just sucking down propane canisters if you're running a five, six, seven, eight thousand watt generator. And you're going to run way short of them. You're not going to store enough reasonably um, to run a large generator. So you really want a, a thousand or two thousand watt generator. I think the EU two thousand is just ideal. Um, the Yamaha makes a good one apparently, but um, yeah, this is really the way to go. So this is a Hutch Mountain um, kit. I've tried one from Central Maine Diesel. I've tried one from a different large company. I think in Kentucky or Tennessee. Um, recently this is super awesome in part in that this whole thing comes off so you can have the generator just by itself the tank and then you know this pops off obviously so it can go on any other propane tank i'm just tuning it right now with this tachometer um i think it's supposed to be 4300 rpms when it's on when it eco throttles off and 3000 when it's on it has an on off switch um you run it and this is storage or propane running mode if you do want to run out on gas you still can you just flip this this is basically a manual petcock for the gas um so you can still run it on gasoline you can run on natural gas too it's not something we have here but um this is a super tight system i'm really really impressed with this hutch mountain one it's definitely more carefully thought through than the others um it's super tight installed in like 
20 minutes um, with drilling the hole and everything. I, I think the only disadvantage, I, the only complaint I have, not even really a complaint, is um, the, uh, the manual is awesome, so much easier to follow than the manuals on the other ones. Um, but there's no final photo of the whole thing where you can see everything. Um, they even send you stickers to put on. I have to put the top one on so you know exactly what the new configuration is. This hole, instead of 11 sixteenths, I think they said it is, that's a little bit tight. Um, I might go a sixteenth bigger or 30 second bigger. Um, they're super nice, these guys. I put it in, it was super tight. I tried to rotate it with pliers, blew up that switch. They just sent me a new one. Um, and a gas only, a gasket came, um, uh, actually let me show you guys in here, came a little torn. They totally just sent me a few new gaskets in the mail immediately. So the service is awesome. This kit is the tightest one. I mean, they, they've clearly thought this thing through very carefully. And they even, you know, did an electrical modification. They send you a new electrical um, switch that you mount here. The other ones don't have an electrical switch. It's all more manual. Um, but it really dials it in very, very well. Um, so it's like 50 bucks more than the other kits. But, you know, this is a good example of you really pay for what you get. And, uh, you know, that's $50 well spent in the, spent in the end. Um, so propane generators, small generators. Hutch Mountain makes the nicest kit I've seen so far. Um, you know, generator is not something you want to be running. Um, so when you're running it, you want as small of a one as possible. Practicing my single-handed um, screwdriver skills here. <laughs> not bad. Um, so definitely take that into consideration. I really learned the hard way when we were running our big generator recently that it's a total liability. It has such a big hog going all the time um yeah store your store your propane containers carefully under cover if you do store gas store it carefully but storing gas sucks it's not something you want to have to do um here's a nice little trick keep your um your spark plug gapping tool um attached to your generator the when you're running it on propane you adjust the pro the um the spark plug a little bit, at least with some of the kits. I'm not sure about this one. I have to look into it. Um, I think I do need to adjust the gap just a little bit on this one. This is a, a gap uh, gauge and then you always have it with you. It's two bucks called the gapper. You know, keep it where you need it. 